My Lord Jesus Christ, because of your love for us, you remain night and day in the Blessed Sacrament, full of mercy and of love, waiting for, calling, and welcoming everyone who comes to visit you. I believe that you are present here on the altar. I adore you, and I thank you for all the graces you have bestowed on me, especially for having given me yourself in this sacrament, for having given me your Most Holy Mother Mary to plead for me, and for having called me to visit you in this church. I now speak to your most loving heart to thank you for this great gift and to make amends to you for all the insults given to you in the sacrament by your enemies, promising to adore you in all the places on earth in which you are present in the blessed sacrament and in which you are least honoured and most abandoned. My Jesus, I love you with my whole heart. I am very sorry for having refused your infinite goodness so many times. With the help of your grace, I resolve never to offend you again. Unworthy though I am, I now consecrate myself to you without reserve. I renounce my own will, my affections, my desires, and everything that I possess. I give them completely to you. All I ask of you is your holy love, final perseverance, and that I may carry out your will perfectly. I commend to you the souls in purgatory, especially those who had the greatest devotion to the Blessed Sacrament and to the Blessed Virgin Mary. I also pray to you for all poor sinners. Finally, my dear Saviour, I unite all my desires with the desires of your most loving heart. I offer them to the Eternal Father and ask him in your name and for love of you to accept and grant them. Let us be careful, says Saint Teresa, not to go far away from Jesus, our beloved shepherd, nor to lose sight of him. The sheep that remain near their shepherd are more favored and get more attention than the others. He always shares with them some special piece from what he himself is eating. If the shepherd should happen to sleep, the sheep who still remain near him will either awaken him or wait until he wakens. They are petted again and are given new favours. My sacramental Redeemer, I am now near to you, who are my shepherd. The only favour I ask of you is to love you single-mindedly and to persevere in that love. Holy Faith, I thank you for teaching and assuring me that in the divine sacrament of the altar, in that heavenly bread, it is not simply bread, but rather that in it my Lord Jesus Christ is really and entirely present, and that he is present there because he loves me. 
My Lord and my all, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. Though eyes of flesh and blood cannot see you, by the light of faith I become aware of you in the consecrated host as King of heaven and earth and as the Saviour of the world. My most loving Jesus, as you are the source of my hope and my salvation, of my strength and consolation, I wish too that you should be the object of all my thoughts and desires and love. I take more delight in the perfect happiness you have and will ever have in yourself than in any good that could ever come to me in time or in eternity. My greatest joy is to know that you, my beloved Redeemer, are perfectly happy and that your happiness is infinite. Reign, my Lord, over my whole heart. I give it all to you. Take possession of it forever. May my will, my senses and my faculties be all directed towards loving you and as long as I live, may they never serve for anything other than to give you satisfaction and glory. A life such as this was yours, Mary Most Holy, Mother and First Lover of Jesus. Please help me for the future. Obtain for me the happiness of living as you always did, for God alone. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank you.
Blessed whoever listen to me, who day after day keeps watch at my gates to guard my portals. Blessed is the one who, like the poor, begs for arms at the gates of the rich, seeks the arms of graces at the doors of the mercy of Mary. More blessed still is the person who strives to imitate the virtues he sees in Mary, especially her purity and humility. My hope, help me. Most Holy Virgin Immaculate, my mother Mary, you are the mother of my Lord, the Queen of the world, the advocate, the hope, and the refuge of sinners. I, who am most in need of mercy, come before you today. I offer you my respectful devotion, and I thank you for all the graces you have granted to me until now. In particular, I thank you for saving me from hell, which I have so often deserved by my sins. I love you, most lovable lady. Because of my love for you, I promise to honour you always and to do all in my power to make sure that others also love you. In your hands, I place all my hopes. I entrust the saving of my soul to your care. Accept me as your servant, Mother of Mercy. Take me under your mantle. Since you have such power with God, save me always from temptation, or rather, obtain for me until my death the strength to overcome them. Of you I ask the grace of a perfect love for Jesus Christ. With your help, I hope to die a happy death. My mother, I beg you, by the love you have for God, to help me at all times, but especially at the last moment of my life. Do not leave me, I plead with you, until you see me safe in heaven, blessing you and singing your mercy for eternity. Amen. That is my hope. May it be so. Sweet, sweet.